So this is a video I've been wanting to make for a while, and it's just about an artist that I really, really enjoy. That first, I was a little skeptical on, but at this point in 2021, I can definitely say he's one of my favorites, which is something I've been saying for the past artists I've been doing videos on, but you know, there's a lot of good music out there in this day and age, so, and uh, Ian Dior is one of them. Now, the title of this video that I'm gonna go with is that he has no misses. Now, if you don't know what that means, that uh, basically is just saying I don't think he's ever made a bad song, a bad album, and all that. And it's really weird because I just think of like where I started out with him. This whole video is just kind of another one of my rants that I'm going to go on where I'm just talking, you know, don't expect, you know, too much, uh, can't think of the word behind it, but you know what I mean. I'm just kind of talking about it, and I'm just going to go through a little overview of Ian Dior's career up until now. You know, he's still making music. It's not like he quit or anything, and now I'm doing a retrospect. Like, no, I'm just kind of talking because I, I felt like, yeah, I really enjoy his music, and just want to talk about what, how his career's been, how I felt about it, and what I think going forward. So... I first heard of Ian Dior back in like 20, I think late 2018, 20, uh, early 2019, whenever it was that emotions dropped, I was in school or something and I got a notification of a new Lyrical Lemonade video, or maybe it was just on a trending page. See, I don't remember. Whatever the emotions music video is, like as I'm saying it, I thought it was a Cole Bennett video, but maybe it just was Cole Bennett's style and the Ian Dior video himself was just trending. Either way, I got something on my page saying that there was this artist, Ian Dior, who I've never heard of, that dropped a song. And I listened to it, and while I did like it, I didn't really want to admit to liking it since it wasn't the kind of music I typically liked, but I thought it was really enjoyable. The, my only complaint was that I think it didn't sound too original, which is a weird thing to complain about, but it was like, if I was going to find a complaint, that was my complaint. And um, that was the only song I listened to. Uh, Emotions was the only song I listened to from Ian for like the longest time. And also, oh, before I move on from this, there's one point I want to make. I used to think that he sounded exactly like Lil Skies, and that was one of my criticisms. I'm going to play a clip right here from Emotions and compare it to Lil Skies. And uh, so maybe you guys can understand where I'm coming from with this. In my head, she said it's all in my head, my head But it's not, I think I'd rather be dead, be dead Hey, but now they tell me I switched up Take this back, wood to the face, then grab my cup Shawty say she coming through, she on her way to fuck It's a lot of love Maybe I'm the only one who sees it See, like, right now after having heard, like, his whole catalog of music I don't see it anymore, but it was just at that time, I really thought they sounded similar. So after this, um, I've checked out three projects from him. And this was more recently. I have only really, there, like, there's a lot of songs from him that I've liked over the last two years or so. But it was like only this last summer, maybe, like starting around my birthday, which is in August uh, um, in 2020, and now we're in July of 2021, where I've really, really been listening to his music. And um, so we start out with his Nothing's Ever Good Enough project, which has a bunch of his best songs on there. Like we got 18, Romance 361, Cutthroat, Crash My Whip, Don't Want to Fall, Emotions. I think Molly was on there. I I'm... I'm positive it is and multiple others i don't remember every song on there it wasn't a very long project so maybe that was every song like i said there's definitely more that were there and it was a very interesting one to listen to because you know again i didn't listen to it when it first came out but i imagine it made a bunch of waves in that lane that ian's in and i guess his lane would be like emo pop maybe because, like, when I say emo, I don't... Like, he's not, like, a little peep or something, right? Because there's different levels to an emo rapper. And just due to the things that Ian talks about, which is, like, heartbreak, 
but a comparison that I would make to Ian's music would be like Juice World, and um, not to like discredit Juice World or anything. I don't want to just like knock off a a deceased artist, but I feel like one of my problems with Juice's music was his over reliance on talking about uh, using drugs to cope with his breakup problems. Well, I don't think that's as noticeable in Ian's music. Of course, he probably has made references to it. I mean, he has a song called Pouring. But overall, it just seems like one thing that a lot of people like about Ian, me included, and a lot of my friends and people in this area that I know, is um, of my age group, is that they just think he's really relatable. And um, even if you don't know what he's going, or if you can't relate to what he's going through to like the fullest extent, at least you kind of get, because Ian's very young. He's very young. I think, see, this is what happens when you just start recording. I believe that he's like 20, maybe not, maybe not even, he might just be 19. You know what, guys? You're going to hear this right here. Alexa, how old is Ian Dior? Ian Dior is 22 years old. Oh my god. All right. Well, I I guess I guess he's older than I thought he was. Um but still, still the the point the point's being made. He's very young. And and especially when he has a song called like 18, that might set up that the rest of the Nothing's Ever Good Enough project is stuff from when he was still a teenager. I don't know. I was really I was really thinking that he was going to be um older. Or, or younger uh, than he currently is. I don't know if you heard it, but he's 22. Either way. So then we go to a project like Industry Plant, which I believe was a, like his first album album, unless he called it a mixtape. I'm not too sure. And that came out in late 2019. And he has songs like In Too Deep, Dark Side, which I don't really like, uh, Never Is Enough, Problems, Gone Girl, just a lot on there. And it continued to show... Ian took this whole industry plant claim that people make towards him, turned it into the name of a project, and had some of his more successful songs on there. Never is Enough might is up there as like my personal favorite Ian Dior song, but Gone Girl is one of his most known, and of course that one has a trippy red feature on it, so that helps. Um, and then just looking at another project like I'm Gone, which he dropped um, in 2020, that has uh shameless i'm like 99 percent sure shameless was on there paradise pretty girls prospect all these peas uh sick and tired and like i'm i'm naming these songs because i just think he has so much great music he's so consistent but he never really sounds too much the same i think he has songs that aren't as good as others of course songs like holding on which i think dropped in 2021 or songs like uh, Shot in the Dark, Shots in the Dark, whatever it's called, that all, that did drop this year with Trippy Red. That was part of his like I'm Still Here project, which had a much better song attached to it. Don't want to believe. So overall, I'd say Ian, I mean, I, I'm going to keep saying this. He's one of my favorite artists. I don't think he's ever missed. And I just named you three albums from him. And I think he could continue. I don't know what his future is. He was just named to the Double XL. Uh, freshman list so that's going to help his exposure even though a lot of people already know who he is and a lot of people discredit xxl nowadays but what do you guys think that was just my little rant on ian i think he, his future could be topping the charts because he has a really accessible sound and who knows um i wish nothing but the best for his career because he's fantastic like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video peace